They were known as the Six Triple Eight. More than 800 African American women marching through Birmingham in 1945. Their mission to sort out a mountain of mail piling up for the frontline troops. It was very, very important. Very important. And sometimes we would have groups of women working all night long. Elizabeth Barker Johnson is 98 years old. In 1945, she was 25 and working in temporary barracks at the King Edward's School, Edgebaston. Uh, and separating the mail, I picked up a package. Everything fell out on the floor. When I picked up that watch, I looked at the back of it. It had the man's name, his, no his number and everything on it. And it just made me feel so good because I could forward it to him. If an army marches on its stomach, morale is often boosted with news from home. Gary Stewart is ex-British Army and says that these women should be honoured. They fitted into part of Birmingham's community and these women should be honoured with a blue plaque, which we are working on at the moment, to honour these women who came here and served and all left with great memories of a great city. The battalion was led by Charity Adams, the highest ranking African-American woman in the US Army. She faced segregation and prejudice for being female and a black woman. Lieutenant Colonel Charity Adams may have been admired and respected while stationed here in Birmingham, but she was no stranger to racism. Once while on leave in South Carolina, she had to face down the Ku Klux Klan while armed with a shotgun. In England, they saw us in uniform. They knew we were from the United States. Some of them would bow their heads in a I guess that was the main way they spoke to us. Some would pass about, wouldn't have anything to say. But actually, when I was in England and France, I was treated better there than I was in the United States. The temporary buildings at King Edward's School, where the battalion was based, were demolished after the war. But now the American women's story is being rediscovered. They cleared the backlog in three months, and the US Army expected it to take six months so they worked really efficiently cleared the backlog and then left Birmingham to do the same in France. Nearly all these women had never left the United States before the war. They might not have fought battles against the enemy but they overcame racism and sexism long before those issues became popular causes. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.